The beginning of me taking pictures was very much started when I was um, in, in high school. I used to race BMX bikes, and uh, and that was the that was the thing that got me a camera in my hand because just like every kid with us an iPhone and a skateboard these days, like we wanted to record what we were doing, and 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 back then you had to have be able to take a picture. So I got I had a real camera, and and that's when I first started doing it, and then. It just stuck, you know, for me. It was something that I had always, um, I just never looked, looked back from that point. You know, I ended up just completely starting to focus on photography and I took it in high school and then, and then I just, I haven't done anything since for almost 25 years. My inspirations um, in, I remember one time there was a, a photographer, I, I, enjoyed all of my life. Um, Emmett Gowan is somebody that he said, I'm blissfully influenced by everything that I love. And, um, uh, and I feel a, a lot of that. And I'm very much, um, I love photography. And I love a very diverse group of, 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 of people who practice the medium. And, and I feel like um, the inspiration comes from just multiple sources. And, uh, and I think that's, um, I think mean, that's important. I, I think that makes uh, like the, you know, there's a lot of like different um, parts to the stew that inspire me. If I'm in that continuum that goes with Robert Adams, you know, um, with Stephen Shore, um, with Diane Arbus, with Sally Mann, Larry Sultan, um, those people have all inspired me greatly. Emmett Gowan, um, I think those are the, that's the core group for me. The work that I'm showing at the gallery now um, called Bright Black World, it's the first showing of this work. And um, it's very exciting for me to, to see this all on the walls and walk in here because uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it all up, you know, and then the book just came, you know, like, and seeing that. And, it's something I've been working on for about three years. What, what it's about, I mean, it's about many things, of course, but like, for me, it's like, you know, I had read um, an A.S. Byatt um, uh, um, book called Ragnarok. I didn't read the whole thing, just like the last few pages, and I immediately, she was talking about Fimbulwinter, and the endless winter, the idea of that, and that, and she was describing the, um, what it was like as the snow started and kept going, and then she had, strung together the three words bright black world you know in her descriptive part and and i remember i isolated that and i was like that that's something i can work with i really like that those words together and uh all those photographs i'd made prior to you know last three or four years were all made in america and they were all made you know sort of as some form of you know that reminds me of where i grew up or that is where i grew up um and um um, and so this work, for me, is, is it's one of the first times I've actually been able to go out anywhere in the world and take pictures and, and not have their, and it just it was what I was doing. So that was a really exciting thing to be able to, you know, like go to Iceland or go to like, you know, Norway or Japan and, and make images. And that's, that's the fundamental difference, I think, is that it, um, is that like, I'm not, I don't feel bound to my history. You know, I'm looking into the future. You know, and then unfortunately, though, the future is not looking so bright. Um, and, uh, and that's part of uh, what the work's about. The photo book for me is one of the ultimate forum for photographs. And I think that, um, uh, and it's the kind of thing that just, it fits the medium like a glove. And I really have enjoyed making books. I, I think I've, I'm up to eight eight books that are serious monographs. And, um, and I often start making a project by, um, by making a book. You know, I'll like just get an, a blank book and just start putting pictures together. And you know, a book is, there's something about a book that's important is that when we approach a book, we expect something from it. We expect to maybe learn something or see something and like, and it has a beginning, a middle and an end. You know, and um, you know, unlike a show, on a, on a wall and with, you know, um, it's very, very different expectation. And I think that 
it forces you to make sense of your work. Um, if you're like piecing together a project or if you've been shooting for a couple of years and then, which is what I often will do, I'll shoot for a couple of years on something and then when the time comes, when I feel like I've reached that tipping point, I'm like, I think I have what I need. I got enough material. Then I'll go right in and I'll start making my book. Um, and then, and then for me, that's some, that's a process that is like part of the magical part that I love. It's like the, it's like a puzzle in your head that you have to sequence and put it together. And you change one thing, it changes everything. And I really love that part. You know, every time I choose a. a picture that goes on the cover of a book, it's a very careful, careful decision because it's the entree point for your, the, the, this thing you've been working on for years and years and, you know, if you don't pick the right one, then it might not get picked up and looked at. And, uh, and so it's something I think about a lot. And then this particular picture um, for Bright Black World is something that I wanted to, um, I, 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 there's a certain smoky, like woodsy, like aftermath of something. It feels like there may be, a, it feels like there had been a fire or something had happened. It was simply like morning had come, you know, but uh, there's something about that that uh, transforms the place. And so um, that's how that picture was, was chosen. What lies ahead for me are, are, are whenever I complete something, I always have something else going on already because I feel like that's important um, to sort of like, I'm like constantly moving and working and I need to make things. And uh, um, I had just, I've had a, sh a show in Arl, a very small show of just 10 photographs um, that are very much like classic formal portraits and then included a couple of the landscapes here in this show. and. Um, um, and, uh, and so I, I plan on continuing to work on that. And then also I, um, you know, I, I'm bright black world is like, I would say it's volume one because I feel like there's a, there's a large part of this book that is inspired by what's happening in the, in with the climate and what's and how our world is changing and the weather is changing. And, you know, even the political climate, you know, that's happening in the United States, like it's darkening and there's something happening that's not good. And, uh, and I feel like I need to, you know, this, a lot of this work is a response to that. And, um, and so, you know, every day you wake up and there's some new horrible thing occurring. And I don't know, I just, making pictures is my way of sort of reacting to that. And um, even though I'm primarily an optimistic person, like it's, uh, you know, I've ratcheted down my optimism a little bit, but it's, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll be making pictures no matter what. <laughs>